Thank you. Thank you. I have to you all to be here. It's really a pleasure and an honor to be here with you all. Hey. There is nothing like this nowhere else in the world. Mm. God chosen children gathered together, eager to become a God given gift yes. to change lives around the globe. That's something amazing, it's something to be part of. So thank you for being here today. I will see you all say success starts with belief. And trust me, your belief will be tested. Every single day for its worthiness. That's a promise of God himself. And 2018 has been really a challenging year for me and my family. Notice, I didn't say difficult, I say challenging. Because if you are not challenged, you will not go. Yes. Mm. Thank God you managed to make it there. We are here today. I, I always remember what Grandma told me. After a dark night, even the darkest night, the shadow will appear in the morning. Mm. Do not make a permanent decision on a seasonal reality. Yes. The woman at the bottom, on the left, is my grandma. She gave me everything I have today. Yes. Without her, I literally would not be alive. I was given to her when I was eight months because my father was going through some hard time in his own life and he couldn't stay a son. So grandma took me. She became my father, my mother, and my everything. I asked her why he made so much sacrifice for me. She said, God, put me in your life to guide you where you belong to me. That woman did that for me, and I hope you all have grandma in your life. She's amazing. She understood that I needed to be with somebody else who can help me. So she made sacrifice. Someday when life gets really hard, I can really give up on me easily. Because that's what happens. When it gets tough, we think about ourselves. What about me? What people are going to say about me? What they believe of me? I have an accent. I got a deep voice. They may not understand all these things. But at the end of any hard day, I think of grandma, and I think of how much sacrifice she gave, and how much she believed in me. I can give up on me, but I couldn't give up on her. Therefore, I must keep going. I must keep rising. I have to. It's an obligation, not a choice. So I keep rising. The historic event happened between Egypt and Israel. God had chosen people were traveling. And 12 went to spot an area to see if it was suitable for all of them. 10 came back, say the place is really good, but they don't think they can live in there. Two came, say, don't listen to them, I'm a leader. The place is amazing. The people are not as big as these 10 say. We don't look like grass hot. We can take the place and make the promised land. Because of those two, because of their belief, because of their courage, God gave them success. So, pray alone will not do it. God wants you to work hard for what you believe. You will be tested for your dream and your belief. You see, because of how much I believe in grandma, how much she put in me, I kept going. I was not the tallest basketball player. I was not the smartest man in the classroom, but I worked hard. You can beat me in everything you want, but you 
not hard for me. That's the given choice. Yeah.